Hi everybody, hope you're all well. So it's release day, so I just wanted to run you through the stamps that are included in this release and just explain kind of how I thought about designing them and how I expect them to work and so on and just give you a run through basically before they go live on the website. Now all being well, they should go live this evening round about six, seven o'clock UK time, but I will post an update as soon as I know what time that's going to be. Um, I did do a poll on Instagram just to ask people whether they would rather see all the sets released in one go or it's split into two different releases. I never really know what to what to do when it comes to that. So I was kind of guided by you guys and the majority of you did say that you'd like it done in one release. So apologies to those of you who didn't. I'm hoping that there'll be plenty of stock so that you'll still be able to order them at a later date if needs be. So there were actually 10 sets in this release. There were due to be stencils as well, some of which will correspond with them, but there's been a delay on those um, due to unforeseen circumstances. So I'll let you know as soon as I know when those stencils are likely to come out. So for now, it's just the 10 stamp sets and we'll start with the A6 ones, of, of which there are four. And the first one is called Best Love and it's a sentiment set. And you may recognise it because we have had a stamp set in the past called Hello Happy that's along the same themes. And a lot of you loved it and asked if I'd do more in that kind of style. So we've got this one that says Best and Love. And then you kind of just mix and match. You can either just do simple, um, simple sentiments that say something like you're the best or you can build up a longer kind of sentiment that says something like wishing you the best on your anniversary or um, a whole lot of love uh, or you know there's all different um, people on here as well mum mummy daughter nanny auntie so you could have best cousin best granddad wishing you the best granddad or something like that. So there's loads of different possibilities here. There should be something for every occasion, really. Um, and it's just, yeah, a nice, fun one. So it goes really well with that Hello Happy from previously. Um, also, with the words being quite big, you can actually make them the focal point of your card. So they're great to work alongside some of our little characters or just on their own. So that's best love. The next one we've got is called Falling For You. Now, I love this set. I've had a real uh, good time colouring in these little characters. I think they're so cute. Obviously, with it being called Falling For You, it suggests that it's for autumn, but actually you could do the leaves in any colour so that they actually work for spring or or whatever you like. So, Or the characters just work on their own. So it's um, it's really up to you how you use these. I actually designed it so that the fox could be stood at one end, the rabbit at the other, and then they could have this um, leaf garland kind of between the two of them. So holding on to it. And then you could, if you wanted to, you could just write in like a name there or something like that. Or the solid stamps actually correspond. So you can actually stamp, for example, this in green or, or orange or brown or whatever, depending on the time of year, and just layer it up with these stamps here. And they also work that's the same leaves. So you could actually kind of create lots of different scenes and backgrounds and different things using the leaves. This flower is also great to pop, um, to turn the characters into little girls and put pop little flowers in their hair and so on. So um, it's a real fun set to play with. There's um, general sentiments on this. So it says, you are particularly wonderful, falling for you, so thankful for you, and a little note from me to you. And I just wanted to, obviously I I designed the set so that they were hold, would hold, sorry so they would hold the garland but equally the the characters do work on their own or you could do what I've done here and use the previous stamp set this one best love and I've actually got them holding the love and it says a whole lot of love but as you can see they're just amazing to colour and this is the little flowers here that I've used on the fox so and they've got their little dungarees on so really lovely set so that's falling for you the next set we've got is three lions it's quite obvious why it's called that so you've got just a lion stood here with his little t-shirt on then you've got a lion that's catching a star that's actually a separate stamp there the crown so you could actually pop the crown onto um, any of the lions just hold that up we're getting a bit of a reflection from the lights there there's also two pairs of glasses heart-shaped glasses and the round glasses that could be used on either of these two guys the crown obviously could go on any of them um, and then some little stars as an accent stamp to work with the, the star here. And then the little guy um, hanging over the rainbow. The sentiments, again, go really well with the images. So it says, be you bravely, catch a falling star, fearless like a lion heart, proud of you, reach for the stars and get over it for the rainbow one. 
So again, these are really sweet colour. The star one lends itself to all those kind of galaxy type backgrounds, um, lots of colours and with the um, kind of northern lights looking things with the stars, that looks amazing. Also an opportunity to use lots of colours with the rainbow one. Obviously you could use them independently or create kind of bigger scenes with them. So again, a real fun set and um, the lions are really, really fun to colour. So that's three lions. And then the last A6 set for this release is called Champion. And when I started this set, I actually designed it thinking I wanted football players. Um, my son's a footballer and we all love football in this house. Well, almost all of us. Um, so the idea was to start with football. But when I drew the rhino, I actually decided that he looked like he could be any kind of sportsman, really, or a variety of sportsmen. So I've actually included the end of a tennis racket and a rugby ball as well and a, a tennis ball so that you could change them up. Now, this guy is obviously the lion is a goalkeeper. Again, he could be a different sportsman. I don't know what other goalkeeper. Um, I don't know what other characters wear such big gloves, but there could be maybe American um, football or baseball or something. I don't know which ones wear gloves. And then this other little character here. But I just wanted to show you how, so the rhino and the tennis racket, that's how I've, I've stamped him there. And then you've got the like the little tennis ball. So although he's got studs on his, on his shoes, I actually think he makes a really good tennis player. Or you could colour in the rugby ball, which I'm actually reliably informed that that's actually an American football, but whichever. Um, you could actually, you know, pop them together like that so it actually looks like a rugby player. So there's lots of different ways you could use them. Also, you could colour them depending on which football team or, or rugby team or whatever you support. You could colour the kit in such a way that it, um, uh, you know, it's personalised. So that's that set and then the sentiments go really well I've, I've popped in the little accent stamp that looks a bit like a net so that you can kind of um you know build up some scenes perhaps the, the goalkeeper in there with the, a bit of net behind them and the football and so on and then the sentiments say go for it ace yes you are which obviously um goes with the tennis one and then we've got you're a champion winners never quit quitters never win you're scrummy so for the rugby one back of the net for the goalkeeper Without a goal, you can't score and you're a keeper. So there's sort of lots of relevant um, sentiments there that work really well with the sports, the different sports that are included. So that one's really nice. Um, I mean, they're cute images as always, but they re work really well for boys cards and different things like that as well. So that's champion. So that's the last of the A6 sets. And then we have six A5 sets. So the first one is you quack me up. Now, this could actually be an Easter set. Um, we're a bit le late for Easter, but I don't actually um, create Easter cards myself personally. So it's for me, it's more like a spring set, spring, summer. Um, you know, you see lots of sheep around at the moment with their lambs and so on. So although it, it, it could be Easter, it equally could just be a spring, summer set. So we've got a chicken here. We've got the sheep with the lamb on, on top of it. We've got the duck and the duckling, but they're actually wearing bunnies ears. So they're kind of dressing up. And then you've got the bunny holding a baby bunny. There's also quite a sizable flower there. The idea being that you could maybe build up a scene like a spring or summer scene. Um, so hopefully that they would work nicely together. And then you've got like an egg here. You've got some foliage and different things, a butterfly. Um, lots of ways of building building up um, cards and, and scenes with this one. And the colouring's really good. I mean, they're quite sizable stamps if I show you. Let's get a ruler here. Let's get a ruler and show you how big this. So this is an A5 set, but the um, so the bunny there from from top to bottom is about nine and a half centimeters. So it's quite a sizable image to color. So um, they work well as a focal point, or you could build up. It would be lovely to have like um, a bigger maybe a picture for a child's bedroom wall, a nursery wall, or something like that, and build up a scene with them or something. So the sentiments in it, again, a few puns and some nice little um, sentiments like love you, referring to the sheep, and hey you. Then we've got so excited. I'm all ears, so maybe with this one here with the bunny's ears on or for this one. You quack me up. Happy wishes. Hey chick, here for you always. Each moment is a fresh beginning and the sun will rise again. Some bunny loves you and don't worry, be hoppy. So 
just a general, nice general um, set that could be used for any occasion really, um, but perfect for all your spring summer makes, all the fresh colours and so on. So that's you quack me up. Oops. So the next one we've got is pause for thought. So this one has got the two little, they're almost like terriers. I don't try to specifically choose a breed of dog because someone's bound to tell me that I've done something not quite right um, with the way it looks. So they're, they're basically just made up dogs, but I think they look a bit terrier-like. So you've got the one standing and the one sitting. And these paw prints are at the um, the right size. You could actually stamp the paw prints in onto his feet there. You've then got this kind of scribbly, sketchy ring, which is great for framing them. So you could have the dog sat in it. It's also good for art journaling or if you want to stamp this and then pop a sentiment in the middle or something like that. And then this bit here that's almost like faux text. It's It kind of isn't anything illegible, but... Um, this is great. I use these kind of stamps all the time for kind of backgrounds and just giving um, an inky background, perhaps just a slightly different texture or look or, or something. So those are really useful, perfect for art journaling or backgrounds. And then we've got some accent stamps. We've got the little hearts here that can also be added to this to, to kind of create like a little heart, um, you know, some, some hearts. You can either put them all the way around or just a few little hearts on there. Same with the paw prints. You could pop the paw prints to kind of turn them into to more um, sort of focal, a bit more detailed um, images. And then we've got some quite fun sentiments in here. So the first one at the top here says, statistics show that those who have the most birthdays live the longest. And we've got just a straight happy birthday. And then we've got love you a lot, pause for thought, be unap unapologetically you, woof you. Not everyone is going to think you're gorgeous and amazing. They're wrong though, weirdos. You make the good times better and the hard times easier. And then life, it will never be perfect. Make it work. So just some some kind of quite fun, um, different kind of sentiments. Quite, quite nice one to use, um, again, for cards, but also, for, like I say, with these elements here for art journaling and so on as well. So that's pause for thought. The next one we've got is buzzing for you. And I've absolutely loved colouring in this set. Um, it's a really cute, really fun set. And I love bees. There's, bees seem to kind of pop up as accent stamps on my sets quite a lot. You've probably noticed that yourselves. Um, but there's actually three bears in here. So this little guy is, has got his honey pot. And then we've got this one that's trying to catch the bees. And this one dressed as a bee. And then you've got the beehive. And then the, these solid stamps are great for sort of elements in a background or just creating a little bit of interest on your card, a little bit of texture. You've got the four different bees. You've also got these separate hexagons that you can stamp in different colours or build up like maybe on a corner of a card or something just to give that extra, um, you know, extra detail on your make. And then the sentiments say, I love being with you. Hey, honey, you are so sweet, meant to be. Be your best self, buzzing for you, and you are unbelievable. There's also the little hearts here and some little hearts, um, just so that I fill up all the spaces. Anyone that knows me and knows my stamps knows that I try and fill every last bit of the, the stamp plate. So, And I just wanted to show you, so this little vine here, I've actually popped that in so that you can hang the hang the beehive up, so like here. Um, so the idea is that you can, I mean, obviously the beehive, you could have it at the top of your card, but if you wanted to just create it, or you could use some other kind of foliage stamps or um, or border stamps or anything like that. Even even this one, for example, you could have the beehive hanging from, from this ring. So anything you, you feel would work. And yeah, I've got the, the little guy here and, the, and one of the bees. So it's just a really fun, sweet um, set that's lovely to play with and create your own scenes and so on just you could even just use one on their own in fact I've got I've got lots of samples to show you over the coming days but one of them I've actually done the bear and I've actually um, taken his net away and I'm actually going to have him holding something different so um, always think about the different things you can do with the stamps and perhaps use them not in the way they were intended um, I love that you get extra use out of them by thinking outside of the box so that's buzzing for you the next one we've got is Swatch Me Now. So 
the idea behind this one was was twofold really i wanted a creative one with some elephants but i also um i quite often come up with a color combination just by accident perhaps three different distress inks or something like that and i think to myself oh gosh i, I really want to remember that so that i can use those again because it really worked well and so the idea is that I can stamp this perhaps into a journal or a notebook or something and just pop the three different colours in um, so that I know what it looks like and I can come back to it at a later date and know that I can use that. Same with the colour wheel. You could, um, you know, you can stamp this into a book and um, just pop in your different colour combinations or different shades of a different colour. But equally, it works really nicely using these in your in the backgrounds of your cards when you're doing like a creative card like these elephants have got their paintbrushes. It's actually nice to use these as part of the background or part of the um, sort of building up a bigger image. So the yeah, these these two have both got their aprons on with the paintbrush. This guy's got his dungarees on, but he looks like he's going to be a bit creative anyway. And then the sentiments. Oh, this one, there's glasses here that which will work really nicely on this one. That's why she's got the bigger eyes, he or she. Well, I guess it's a she because it's got a bow, but um, so the glasses can go on on her. And then the sentiments say, you bring colour to my world, colour the world with kindness, perfect combo, colour me happy, make each day your masterpiece, craft a life you love, life, creating your own masterpiece one day at a time, colours speak louder than words, life is art, live it in colour and swatch me now. Um, and I don't know if you can, so this is in our kind of sketchy um style that we've done before like thick sketchy lines which works really nicely with the sort of stamping in black but equally you could um what i've tried to do is is add in some text to kind of make it a little bit more so if you wanted to use this in art journals or something like that it works really well it's got just got lots of different colors listed on here just to add a bit of extra interest to those stamps so that's swatch me now and these elephants are great for coloring by the way i've colored so many of them over the last few weeks um, they're just amazing the next one is another crafty one and it's called creativity in progress and this one's got the little rhinos playing in an art palette and um, a rhino with a tube of paint and then this these bits here can actually be used as though the paint's coming out of the tube and then you may have seen i popped up a little video a few days ago of a peak of how to use this one so you would stamp this image this is how i've designed it anyway for you to stamp this image and color it and then what you can do is once it's dried you can use an anti-static bag and then you pop this one over the top maybe using versamark and embossing glitter or powder or whatever pop it over the top and it fits so that this is this part here is actually in the tub and he's surrounded by sort of glitter so that's why i did it in a two-part stamp so that you can color this one first and then over stamp so this is what I created in that little video. Um, so you can see there that he's kind of throwing all his glitter around. So that's quite a fun way. Obviously, you can use it without the glitter, um, but it's just a nice way of sort of creating something a bit different. You could also, I guess, use glue for that and just sprinkle glitter itself onto, onto this part of the stamp. So that's fun to use. Um, there's also a paintbrush there. This little bit that's creativity in progress meant to look a bit like um you know a whirring as though you you know you have on the computer and then i've got some really fun kind of sentiments or words for this set now i've come up with these i can't remember what they're called now but when the two words meld together to create a new word so we've got craft a thought and the definition says an idea thought or plan that comes to mind when you've finished creating and is clearly the way you should have approached a project from the outset see also hours wasted so I don't know if you're anything like me, but I can really identify with that one. Um, I'm always completing something and then thinking, oh, why didn't I just do it that way? It would have been much simpler. Um, then we've got procrastination. And that definition says the avoidance of adult responsibilities in order to partake in crafting. See also, maybe tomorrow I'll do housework. Again, that one really, I can identify with that. Then we've got craft a math. And the definition says the disastrous or unfortunate con consequence that follows a period of crafting area may resemble a bomb site see also carnage chaos mess and that works really well with this one here where they're jumping in the paint so um it you know they work really well together or equally you could just use the definitions on your own or on other 
you know, with other images or whatever. Then with the last definition is faster piece and it says a work of outstanding artistry created in minutes. See also instant crafty gratification and never enough creative time. Again, I can identify with that one. In fact, I can identify with all of them really. And then we've just got a straightforward sort of sentiment or, or tagline that says being creative isn't a hobby, it's a way of life. Creativity is messy and I am very creative. And then we've got Alexa clean my craft room. Some people are just born with glitter in their veins and throw glitter in today's face. So lots of different ones there. Perfect for all you crafters out there, all you creative people or making cards for the people that are creative. And like I say, I'm sure there's a lot of people that can identify with one or more of these kind of definitions. So that's a really fun set to use. The rhinos are great for colouring. You can be as wild as you want with the colours because you can colour in the paint that's on here. You can go really bright, you can go pastel, you can pick your favourite colours. Um, it's a really creative set and it's where you can be the, the artist. So that's some um, creativity in progress. So that's that one. And then the last one is called You've Got This. Now, in keeping with a lot of the themes that I seem to come up with, it's a wreath or it's almost a wreath. So the idea behind this one is that you stamp this portion here and then you can select which character that you fit in here. So it's kind of along the same lines as our rocking the wreath, but this one is made, this is, the wreath is actually foliage and the characters are just that much bigger and a bit more prominent. So we've got the bear, the elephant and the monkey that all hang from the top. And then what you need to do is if you want to use the other ones, you can stamp this this way up and the giraffe and the rhino actually go at the bottom of the wreath so you just pick which which character you want to use and then stamp it accordingly also this branch here is actually designed to fit in that space so if you just literally want a complete ring of foliage you can do that also you could use that branch so that instead of him hanging from a wreath for example you could stamp this across the top of your page so that it looks like a branch coming in and then him just hanging from a branch so it's, you know, there's ways of changing it up. There's also some um, kind of solid stamps here of foliage that are great for creating wreaths, creating extra elements on your card. Um, they're really good to use for that. And then we've got some just straightforward sentiments, really. So we've got happy birthday and congratulations there, which are universally used. And then we've got you've got this, hold on, stay strong. So particularly for the ones that are clinging on. And we've got thinking of you, enjoy every moment, hang in there. Every day is a second chance and lots of love always. This, I, I, de I don't have favourites. I can't have favourites. I've loved them all. But they do look really lovely when they're coloured, these ones. So I've got the monkey here. He's hanging from the top of the wreath. And then I just thought I'd show you this one where the wreath is up the other way. And there's the rhino. So that's just stamping it this way round and then just literally positioning the... And you can see here, I've not actually matched up so hit the, the leaf is actually going through this way. Not actually matched it up that well, but it doesn't really show. So, you know, it's easy to just kind of stamp it in wherever you think and, and colour the way you want to. And obviously that I've done with no line colouring, but um, obviously you could do it whichever way you wanted to in terms of colouring. So that's, you've got this. So that's the entire release. I hope you like it. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, yeah, so as I said earlier, I'm hoping to have the to press the button on the launch at about six to seven o'clock this evening. But I will post on social media and just give you an update when I know that it's definitely going to happen, what time it's definitely going to happen. Um, the stencils, again, I will let you know as soon as I have a date for those. And yeah, that's it, I think. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.